I'm not going to lie. He was cool as a cucumber. Um, he had been pretty stoic through all of it, as I think you guys could tell. You know, he, he's been bearing the burden of this for six years and carrying this weight. I was calling him Atlas. You know, he's carrying this weight for six years. And there was a lot of people, you know, I see Brian still out there. And, you know, we consider Brian the ground zero. There was nobody. There was no media. There was all this blackout. You know, Me Too was everyone was trying to jump on his dead body. And like a phoenix, he rose from the ashes. And, <laughs> and he was he was pretty stoic. I mean, the first week of trial was, was testy, you know. But, but I was there the first week. I came back for this, the last week. And he was like in the zone. He was rehearsing for his tour. He was singing in the shower. You know, he was playing his guitar. He was in the zone. He had felt like what he wanted with the whole world you know, knowing the real truth, seeing the real facts that the media wouldn't portray. And I know it sounds paranoid, but it's true. Find me somewhere where anyone in major media portrayed even the notion that he was telling the truth and there were real facts against her claims. So, you know, I think he felt like, not that he'd already won, but like what he, this was his last chance because England was a sham and he wasn't suing her anyway. That was the son and he was fighting Murdoch and other people whose name starts with an M. And, you know, he 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 really was stoic and then if you're asking about the moment of truth which by the way the only video of that that exists is on this terrible phone that i'm having trouble with you guys on <laughs> um, i've got the video and i could just tell you he's he's like this and he's just taking it in and we're screaming and cussing out the screen <laughs> jeff beck is flipping off the screen we're screaming and yelling and the, you know malcolm his security is crying nathan his assistant is crying we're all crying and screaming and he is stoic and I'm, i mean that he's he's stoic and i've known him 35 years and i'm and to this day, still so impressed by what he shouldered and how he shouldered it. And even to the, like, we talked, we FaceTimed on his birthday for two hours. He, he's in great spirits. He feels like he just, it's a huge weight levied off of his shoulders. You know, he really wanted the world to know. And now, obviously, the world knows. Yes. Yes. No matter how the MSN tries to spin it, <laughs> the whole world actually knows. Anyone that, that watched the trial knows what the evidence showed and knows knows the 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 real story at this point so well i think i think you and your whole crew here everybody that i see like i was saying before my tech issues you guys were so great you know we a lot of us relied on you because you know we've been fighting a system for six years and some of us were in this thing for 11 years because those five years he was with it weren't great so yeah um you guys, your perspective, you know, the guys that were in the courtroom, the guys that were talking about the jury, because I am one of the few people who saw the jury, right? I knew the jury. I, I, when you guys were talking about certain people, I knew who you were talking about. And we were nervous. This, is, this has been nothing but difficult the entire time. So we were nervous. And, uh, and it, you guys made it easier, honestly. And your perspectives, and, you know, Hogue especially, because... He was the Nate, he was the sort of devil's advocate, and even watching Hope turn, I was like, okay, this is good thing. Hope turn up. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember you asking me, you know, kind of, kind of offline when you were like, you're like, so, so is is so is is Rick really like this? Is this is this how how he really is? You know, behind the stage, but you know, like like normally off of off of live streams. I was like, yep, this is this is the real Rick Hogue. <laughs> like he is he is he is skeptical, but he is very honest. <laughs> skeptical but honest. Yes, I will take it. 